Engineers just created motors using carbon threads thinner than DNA. In tests, the carbon coil weighed over 80% less than the copper equivalent, cutting a motor's coil weight dramatically. For over a hundred years, every electric motor has relied on heavy copper coils. Now, scientists have found a way to replace all that metal with carbon nanotubes that are stronger than steel and carry electricity almost as well as copper. Though with some trade-offs in raw conductivity, these motors can bend, flex, and move in ways metal motors never could. This changes everything from electric vehicles to robotic limbs. Here's the science behind this incredible breakthrough and what it means for everyday technology. But first, there's something about traditional motors that engineers have been dealing with for decades. Every motor in the world shares a secret weakness, one engineers have tolerated for over a century. Imagine copper coils heavy and rigid, wrapped around metal cores to create the magnetic fields that power everything from cars to computer fans. When electricity flows, these copper wires generate magnetic forces that push and pull, spinning the motor shaft. But here's the problem no one talks about. Copper is incredibly heavy. Electric vehicles are burdened by hundreds of pounds of copper in their motors and wiring. This weight sits at the very heart of every motor, making the entire system heavier than necessary. This weight triggers a chain reaction. EV engineers constantly battle between motor power and battery life. Every extra pound of copper forces compromises on range or battery size, draining batteries faster. Drone manufacturers face even tougher trade-offs. Half a racing drone's motor weight comes from copper windings. Cutting that in half could double flight time or payload. Medical device companies also struggle as heavy rigid copper coils limit the precision of robotic surgical arms. Winding these copper wires requires expensive precise equipment, and fluctuating copper costs add up. Engineers must painstakingly wind thousands of feet of thin wire with perfect precision. One loose wire can ruin the entire motor. Copper's rigidity also locks engineers into rigid designs. It demands heavy cooling due to resistance, limiting innovation. Designers can't create motors for curved or flexible applications. The rigid copper dictates equally rigid boxy structures around it. Manufacturing costs keep climbing with copper prices. Pure copper is expensive, but precision motor-grade wire costs even more after processing. A single EV motor uses over $60 worth of copper wire not counting labor. For decades, engineers have sought an alternative. What if a material could conduct electricity without these drawbacks? What if motors could be lightweight, flexible, and efficient without sacrificing power? Scientists have finally found something almost impossibly small, yet incredibly powerful. Carbon nanotubes that are so small, millions could fit inside a human hair. Think of them as rolled up sheets of chicken wire, except the wire is made from carbon atoms, arranged in perfect hexagonal patterns. Each tube measures just a few atoms wide, making them thinner than DNA strands. Here's what makes this seem impossible. Something this small should be weak and fragile. Instead, carbon nanotubes are stronger than steel. The carbon atoms lock together in tight hexagonal patterns that create incredible strength. A single nanotube can support a weight thousands of times heavier than itself without breaking. The atoms arrange themselves like a perfect honeycomb structure rolled into a cylinder. Each carbon atom bonds with three neighbors, creating a network that distributes stress evenly across the entire tube. This atomic arrangement makes nanotubes not just strong but also excellent at conducting electricity. Electrons can zip through these carbon highways almost as easily as they move through copper wires. Creating useful cables from these tiny tubes requires a breakthrough manufacturing process called lyotropic liquid crystal-assisted surface texturing. Researchers suspend nanotubes in a special liquid crystal mixture that lines them up like combing tangled hair, creating tightly packed bundles for a flexible, conductive core. Engineers then wrap this core with a protective outer sheath that provides structure and flexibility. The result is something called a core sheath composite electric cable. These cables behave differently than anything engineers have worked with before. Regular copper wires break when bent too far or stretched too much. Carbon nanotube cables can bend, twist, and stretch while still carrying electricity perfectly. This flexibility opens up completely new possibilities for motor design. 
Instead of rigid copper coils that must stay in fixed positions, carbon cables can wrap around curved surfaces and adapt to different shapes. Motors no longer need to fit inside rigid metal boxes, they can flex and move with their surroundings. Recent conductivity tests also show promising results. Carbon nanotube cables can carry electricity almost as well as copper. In tests, these bundles carried current comparable to copper, while weighing over 80% less. The difference in electric performance is small enough that other advantages make up for it. A single meter of carbon nanotube cable weighs over 80% less than equivalent copper wire. This weight reduction alone transforms what becomes possible in motor design. The cables also generate less heat when electricity flows through them, reducing the need for cooling systems that add even more weight to traditional motors. With the cable this light and flexible in hand, engineers could reimagine the motor, no rigid coils required. The first carbon motor prototype did something impossible. It bent in half while running and kept working perfectly. Engineers watched in amazement as their creation flexed like a living muscle while maintaining full power output. This single moment changed everything about how motors could work. Traditional motors must stay rigid and straight. Carbon-based motors throw that rule out completely. These zoom motors can twist, bend, and stretch while running at full speed. The flexible carbon cables replace stiff copper coils, creating motors that move like biological systems instead of mechanical boxes. Picture this, electric vehicles become dramatically lighter in their motor sections. By swapping copper coils for carbon ones, the coil assembly drops from around 50 pounds to just under 10, slashing that portion of the motor weight. This weight reduction transforms how cars accelerate and how far they can drive on a single charge. Here's what this means for electric vehicle performance. Lighter motors mean faster acceleration from every red light. The car uses less battery power to move its own weight around. Range increases by dozens of miles per charge just from motor weight savings alone. Even partial coil replacement could boost acceleration, extend battery life, and cut manufacturing costs over time. Medical devices gain incredible new possibilities with flexible motors. Surgeons can now use robotic tools that bend and flex with patient movements, while smart prosthetics adapt to natural body motions instead of fighting against them. Think of a back brace that adjusts its support based on how someone moves throughout the day. With motor fibers detecting posture changes and tightening or loosening accordingly, Aerospace engineers face a completely different world of possibilities. Aircraft motors that adapt to wing flex during flight create more efficient designs, while electric planes can fly longer distances with the same battery capacity. Every pound matters when lifting something into the sky, and carbon motors deliver massive weight savings for satellites, drones, and deep space rovers. Robotics enters a new era when motors can bend like tendons. Robot arms move with fluid, natural motions instead of jerky mechanical movements, enabling machines that start moving like living creatures. Wearable technology takes a giant leap forward as well. Motors get woven directly into smart fabrics that sense body movement and respond accordingly. Workout clothes suggest compression during exercise, and winter jackets automatically regulate temperature based on activity levels. Shoes can also provide extra support exactly when feet need it. From surgical tools that flex with your hand to drones that stay aloft for hours, these motors open doors we never knew existed. This represents a complete shift from building rigid mechanical systems to creating organic adaptive designs that work with natural movements instead of against them. Yet for all this promise, there's something standing in the way of this motor revolution. Despite immense promise, carbon motors face a major hurdle cost. A single meter of carbon nanotube cable is far more expensive than copper wire, making carbon motors unfeasible for most everyday uses right now. Think of it, copper supply chains are mature and stable, while carbon nanotube production is a pricey niche process. Copper manufacturing is established. Carbon nanotubes demand new multi-million dollar factories with precise controlled embarkments. The manufacturing itself is challenging. Aligning millions of tiny nanotubes with microscopic precision adds significant time and expense. Each step requires costly specialized equipment. 
Durability is another serious concern. Harbor nanotube cables need special sealing or coatings to withstand moisture, heat, or high voltages, adding cost and complexity. Unlike copper, which endures decades outdoors, carbon cables require extra environmental protection to prevent breakdown. In terms of conductivity, carbon nanotubes approach copper's electrical performance but don't fully match it in all scenarios. While impressive for their weight, a small gap performance for means in demanding high power applications, limiting immediate widespread replacement of traditional designs. Long-term disposal impacts of carbon nanomaterials are still under study creating caution around widespread use until environmental safety is clear. Consider early lithium-ion batteries, expensive, unstable, and met with doubt. Yet, within 20 years of steady improvement and cost reduction, they power up our phones, laptops, and EVs. Carbon motors may follow this path. Predictions suggest major cost reductions within the next decade as production scales. Manufacturing will become more efficient, and environmental concerns will be resolved. Widespread adoption hinges on key milestones. Production costs must drop by at least 70% to compete with copper. Durability issues need real-world solutions. Performance gap must close through improved nanotube alignment and cable design. Beyond these practical challenges, this technology points to a fundamentally new way of designing machines and integrating them into human life. Carbon motors don't just swap materials, they redefine what motion can be. Picture this, motors move in directly into clothing that responds to body movement, smart fabrics that adjust temperature automatically medical devices that bend with natural motions instead of fighting against them. This technology changes how people interact with machines in completely new ways. Instead of rigid equipment hidden inside metal cases, motors become part of everyday items. Shoes that provide support exactly when needed, jackets that regulate warmth based on activity, the boundary between human movement and machine response starts disappearing entirely. The question now isn't if carbon will replace copper, but how soon and in what surprising gadgets next. If you're excited by machines that act more like muscle than metal boxes, hit like and subscribe for more deep dives into the tech reshaping our world.